What is up and what is good YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today's Toy Hunting Adventure is going to take us to a place called Book Off. It's a physical media store here in San Diego. They sell toys, movies, Blu-rays, DVDs, all kinds of music. They got vinyl, they got CDs, books. I love books. There's my big book collection back there. Uh, so it's a great store to pick up physical media. It's based off a store in Japan called Hard Off, and they brought over some stores here in the United States, uh, one of, of which is here in San Diego's. And here in the U.S., they call them Book Off. So it's a great store to pick up physical media, which I love. You know, I'm not into that digital stuff. Uh, physical media, you can own it forever, you know. It's going to outlive, outlive us. Uh, so it's a great place. I like to go at least once a week or once every two weeks to see what they have. Um, you can find good deals there. Sometimes they do look up, look up stuff on the Internet. So sometimes, you know, they price stuff really high. But you do catch them slipping a lot of times, uh, which is great. Not as much as before, but it's a great store. Uh, so I'm excited to go back. I haven't been there actually in about a month or two. So excited to go back. Hopefully uh, find something good to bring home for the collection. Uh, if you're new to the channel, guys, uh, please hit the subscribe button to keep up with future videos. And also give me a follow on Instagram at SoCal Shaolin. Uh, so we're going to head on over to Book Off and hopefully we find something good. You guys have ever been to a book off or have one near you uh let me know down below in the comments uh so you know enough talk let's head on out and check out book off book off employees hard at work pricing new items to put out on the shelves uh, but here we have the anime section lots of anime collectibles little vinyl figures many statues keychains you name it i uh, don't know anything about anime anymore but they i do know those are dragon ball z's uh, so if you're into anime this is like i said this store is based off a japanese store so they're owned by japanese people so they have tons of anime stuff uh, movies as well as collectibles here so definitely if you're into anything japan anime Head over to book off like i said they have all kinds of physical media here we have laptops cameras you name it they have the electronics and collectibles as well lots of pops like any other place book off is no exception they got lots of pops people dumping their collections here because they do buy trying to get rid of your stuff hopefully give you some money but like I said, you find all kinds of weird stuff. Like check out that Star Wars Millennium Falcon Darth Vader watch set from the 90s. Insane. And then some stuff you can still find at stores. They have here people just, you know, they dump their collections. They can't return to the store, so they sell them off to book off. And you can't find some really good stuff here. Like you got these Playmate Star Trek toys from the 90s. You got Toy Biz. Here are the... Mutants, the metal mutants, steel mutants. Those are always cool to see. I used to have those when I was younger. You got Toy Biz action figures, silver samurai, awesome with that silver back metal. It even comes with the little steel mutant cyclops, awesome. Starting lineup, Scotty Pippen. I have this guy already, but it's cool to see. Like I said, man, they have everything here at Book Off. Like I said, people sell their stuff here, so you never know what you're gonna find. Now, you gotta really look around because the prices are all over the place. Uh, very cool to see this Star Wars, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, Padme, the pregnant Padme. I was actually looking for her, to tell you the truth. Got some awesome powers figures there. Some more anime stuff. Here's one I haven't seen in a long time. Rogue from the X-Men movie, Anna Paquin. Now you got the Kenner Retro Slimer. Luke Skywalker from the 50th anniversary right there. Terminator Salvation figure. Some Marvel Legends. You know, all kinds of stuff. Uh, these I love. They're reaction from Big Trouble in Little China. I don't have many reaction figures, but I do have all the Big Trouble in Little China ones. Now, 20 bucks for this Padme. No way. Episode 1 figures you should not be paying more than $5 for. 
uh, they're a dime a dozen so yeah they're, whoever priced that one was on crack here's a cool Dr. Octopus right there even got some AEW figures very cool Twilight Zone gremlin here one of the best episodes in my opinion of the Twilight Zone yeah Willem Shatner in that one I'm a big fan of the Twilight Zone got me some uh, figures and storage of Twilight Zone but we're gonna keep on looking see what they got a Phoenix statue just a whole bunch of random stuff even got puzzles in the back here's a Kyle Drogo Game of Thrones figure I haven't seen those in a while all right so right there in the back is a Popeye the Sailor Man Sea Hag action figure it was priced at $30 I was real tempted to pick it up it resells for $60 to $80 on eBay uh, so prices range from around there I just didn't feel like spending 30 to make like 20 bucks uh, maybe I should have picked it up and held on to it but yeah I just didn't want to pick it up but uh, someone who finds that thing is gonna have a great great figure there to either keep in their collection or to resell All right, here we have the graphic novel section they got tons of books here guys from every publisher they got IDW image Marvel DC uh, great prices too they usually do half off of what the cover price is and sometimes you can even find them for even cheaper than that but very very good deals here and over here is all the manga like I said I got a lot of Japanese items and that whole section right there is manga very very popular section here at book off and then they also got just novels here as well books all kinds of books now those books are real cheap you can find some paperbacks for like 50 cents here's the video game section got everything from Xbox 360 to PS5 even Game Boy and they even got import stuff they got Famicom items Super Famicom as you will see here some very cool Famicom stuff those are very colorful cartridges awesome to see those and you got some uh, Sega Genesis the import versions of course Mega Drives here's a Nintendo Super Famicom awesome to see that lots of great and rare video games you don't see every day here we have some Nintendo classics like Bubble Bobble, Paper Boy, Castlevania very cool lots of used handhelds there you got the Wii you got some mini NES's over there and Blu-rays I love Blu-ray I have a lot huge Blu-ray collection at home uh, so I usually spend a lot of time looking through all these because they do have multiple copies of stuff priced differently it all depends who's pricing the stuff at book off so I'm gonna look around and then uh, we'll catch you on the pickups part of the video all right guys I am out of book off got a little bag here of uh, goodies I'll show you guys when I get home back home now guys I'm gonna show you my pickups I picked up a few blu-rays and then one action figure uh, book off is an awesome store especially if you're you love physical media man physical media is awesome I love it I can go digital one day any day they can just take away all that digital content that you have purchased or have downloaded and it's gone man but if you have the the actual physical media movies books CDs records they can never take that away man that, that's why i love it it's what i grew up with and i always continue to you know pick up physical media man it's awesome uh and a store like book off it's it's great i love it i know every major city probably has a store like book off uh book off is based based out of japan uh i believe they are called hard off in japan and uh, they have a few here in, in the states california and new york i know for sure but it's always cool going there because you never know what you're gonna find you find some rare stuff catch them slipping sometimes because they do look up prices and especially for out of print movies 
and some toys that they get in uh they could kind of price them close to what they sell for online uh but anyways let's get on to the pickups the first blu-ray i picked up was this uh jackie chan four film feature it has operation condor one two and it has project a and project a part two uh, i already own this copy it was only five dollars and i actually got this one to flip because this one sells online uh, for like 30 bucks i sold uh, one of these uh, maybe like two three months ago uh, for like 35 on ebay so this is clearly i picked this one up for a flip uh we'll go to a collector out there jackie chan collector for sure and then this next one i can't believe i didn't have this in my collection uh i picked up stargate it was only 6.99 on blu-ray this is the 15th anniversary edition it comes with a theatrical version and it also has an extended version of the movie a whole, whole bunch of features and i was actually looking this thing up online it's uh going up in price i don't know I, I might be out of print uh might be the reason why uh but glad to finally own this awesome sci-fi classic uh there's the action figures for stargate too guys i think kenner made them i remember i was talking to my friend richard about them so you know and they do look pretty cool so you know you want to pick up some stargate figures if you're a fan of stargate look them up there's toys out there and then this one i picked up from my son uh he was bugging me for Ninja Turtles Part 3. He lost his copy. Uh, he had like the DVD uh, four film set that it had Walmart a while back. Uh, so I ended up just buying him the whole set on Blu-ray. He has a portable Blu-ray player that he uses in his room uh, when, you know, he wants some adult time and he, he needs to go chill out in his room for a little while or play in his room. He has his little Blu-ray player that he uses up there. So I got him his own copy of Ninja Turtles. This is only $6.99 and it's still sealed. It's all three uh, movies on Blu-ray. So that's cool. Uh, he'll enjoy this for sure. He's been wanting uh, part three. So that is for him. And then the last thing I picked up was a figure for $5. It is from the Star Wars Revenge of the Sith toy line. It is Padme. Pregnant Padme. See it right there. So this is from the last scene in Revenge of the Sith when they're on Musafar and she stowaways on Obi-Wan's ship. And then we all know what happens there. Anakin Skywalker goes berserk with the choke and yeah, not good. But anyways, like I said, I've been picking up a lot of these old figures because they're still cheap. And you know, I want to make dioramas and stuff. So there is a reason why I picked up Pregnant Padme. And in a later video down the line, you will see why. So she is essential for my display in the future. So cool. But only time will tell <laughs> when you guys can uh, see that. But anyways, yeah, cool. And, and the funny thing is I was looking for her on eBay and then I go to book off and she's there for five bucks. Crazy how that kind of stuff works out, man. Sometimes the toy guys just are looking down on you and wishing you a good toy hunt uh and speaking of good toy hunts i hope all you guys have good toy hunts uh wherever you go uh, if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button to keep up with future videos if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of book off do you need live near a book off or a sword light book off um and that place is jam packed with physical media movies and books you could i was there for like two hours guys so i know the video is not that long but i was there for two hours it's insane uh i could get lost in there uh, i love movies and stuff i'm a big movie buff but anyways guys thanks again for watching the video uh hit the like button subscribe and follow me on instagram at socal shaolin uh good luck on your guys' hunts uh spread the word man tell people about the channel uh catch you on the next toy hunt also, don't forget to join me Wednesdays, Action Figure Lowdown on YouTube, our live stream that we do here. We talk toys, hang out for a while every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 Eastern. Uh, thanks again, and I'll catch you on the next Toy Hunt. I'm SoCal Shaolin. I am out. Thanks for watching, everyone.